Bradford Town on Monday morning, still stuck in Sunday sleepy yawning. The coffee mouth I made tastes like determination. Across the street there is an ugly reflection of me begging coins from passers-by, checking the pavements for treasure, living his life by the policy of do or die, this gentleman of easy leisure. Homeless is a pitiful word, a word that fills us with discontent and fear, not a civil word, and with Monday morning coffee mouth, not the word that I want to hear. He says, excuse me, mate. Oh no, I thought to myself. Excuse me, mate, can you, excuse me, mate, can you, can you spare, can you, can you give me, excuse me, mate, can you spare just a little bit? Because I want to get some breakfast. And being homeless is, does it matter that he swears? Does it matter if I care? Does it matter if his hair is lank, his teeth are black, his eyes are sore, his clothes are rough, his skin is tough? His walk is shambly, gangly, stagger. Does it matter if he's a blagger? Does it matter in any way, shape or form? Because I know, I really know. Excuse me, mate, but my heart is warm. Then, on the phone, on my way home, past the park and down the lanes and down to Bradford Interchange, I take a call from cash.com. I should have screened it and pressed reject. There is a falseness that I detect. Another corporate entity selling things that I don't want to me, trying to sell my soul back to me, making millions, I expect. The sleek and slimy salesman patter, this fake and putrid civil splatter of fakery and snakery, pretending to be nice to me. Yes, he's polite, he says, yes, sir, quite. Then a familiar face comes into sight. Just one moment, I say to him, my personal assistant has just come in. I'll put him on to you and he can talk to you and he handles all of my financial matters. Just give it to him nice and straight so I hand the phone. Excuse me, mate. Yeah. Civility cannot be faked or falsified or made half-baked. It comes from one's own heart, one's own desire to make a start. Manners, yes will get you far, but a civil touch will raise the bar. When actions with compassion made replace the need for angry fashion. Be civil to your friends and peers, civil to those both far and near, civil to those both fat and thin, no matter what skin they're in. Civil on both land and sea, to you and I and me and thee, civil to those both short and tall, but certainly, most of all, for family and friends, for sanity and health, for generations yet to come. Be civil to yourself.